Hello guys, I hope you are fine and doing it perfectly well. In this video, I am going to show you how you will be able to resolve uh, this error that is your PHP installation appears to be missing the MySQL extension which is required by the WordPress. I am going to resolve this error uh, but before we start, please like and subscribe my channel so that I can get some motivation from you and from YouTube as well in the, in the form of cash and I can bring some uh, beautiful content for you which will help you. In your career and uh, in the uh, ongoing sport okay uh, let's start it here uh, once uh, this uh, uh, error you can get when you will update uh, the PHP version of your website uh, from the C panel like I recently just did that I did updated the PHP version of uh, 8.4 from uh, 7.4 to 8.0 and now it's showing me this error you can get it here uh, you can get it here you can see that okay now let's resolve this error first you will need to but uh, okay what issue is, is it's saying is that the mysql extension is missing one the most uh, famous and easy method is that you can just uh, create a ticket with your uh, hosting provider and ask them to install this extension for you and the issue will be resolved either you can create, create a ticket or you can do a live chat with them the issue will be resolved with that the other method if you want to do it by myself uh, I, I mean i mean by yourself definitely for me i will do by my myself okay so let's follow the steps and uh, yeah let's start it here so we will go to uh, name hero uh, c panel uh, this is called c panel uh, once you, we are logged into c panel what we will do is that we will go here let's go to multi php editor let's see here which options we have Okay, so here we have the options of increasing the memory limits of the website. Um, okay, uh, let's go back. Okay, let's try to select this one, select PHP version. Let's try to go there and see what options we have here. Okay, so you can see is that we are here and uh, click on that and use php selector let's uh, handled by cpanel multi php manager okay so it's saying is that this is handled by the other one that we are uh, that we just uh, recently updated to 8.0 okay okay one minute let's set it to 8.0 as well so that the uh, php version should match with the multi php uh, version and the php selector and uh, let's try to reload this page i'm sure this will not resolve uh, yes it is as you can see that okay now we will go into the extension which, which is the main error you can see that mysql extension error we are getting the mysql extension is missing so now we are going to uh, add mysql extension uh, wp mysql okay mysql oh sorry spelling mistake sql okay so we got the extensions here uh, my sqli and the sqli you can enable all these which contain sqli uh, that will be helpful for uh, for you guys okay uh, once this is done uh, as you can see we have in main by, by the way main extension is this one but as you are saying it's not uh, allowing to update because uh, let me show you error. This extension gives a user access to functionality provided by MySQL Server 4.0, 4.1 and above. Okay, so it's saying our uh, PHP version is little down. Uh, we need to, let's go with 8.2 and apply uh, for all these. Okay, for if we user will select 8.2 and then it will uh, apply, uh, provide all these extensions. If Here we are allowing the extensions to PHP version like 8.2 extension uh, 8.2 PHP version has all these extensions enabled like this one this one this one and 8.1 8.1 uh, I will also allow 8.1 as well for extension enablement it's just, it, it's saying uh, uh, conflicting so what I am saying is that uh, but uh, 8.2 is working perfectly fine uh, with the SQL extension and if we let's one more time check 8.0 if it does allow or not uh, 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 uh. 
no it's not a line so only 8.2 is allowed uh, mysql extension is allowed in only 8.2 uh, php version so now what i will do is that i will go back to uh, the php version here uh, i will select the php version i will have to change that definitely because uh, we need uh, okay sorry go back here we, I need to change the PHP version for the website to 8.2 so that it should be better. But here we have only 8. Point. What's the matter here? Let me check one. Hold on. So here I am. I have selected the 8.2 PHP uh, so that uh, it should match with the uh, other setting of the C panel. Okay. So here now we have 8.2 version and uh, let's go back. And here we can also see that select the PHP version here, it will also be 8.2. And in 8.2 extension, uh, we have allowed uh, cPanel allow us to have extension MySQLi. So I hope it will work fine. Uh, let's uh, set it up and then we will reload our website. Okay, let's test, uh, test this out. Okay, perfect. You can see that the issue is resolved and it's working perfectly fine so i hope my video this video will be helpful for you for more videos please like and subscribe my channel i will try my best to post these type of issues uh, that i face and you face if you face some any issue some issues you can reach out to me by comment and comment there where you need help i will definitely try my best to help you out, uh, guys out thank you see you later bye bye